Hi, today we're in Anza Borrego Desert State Park. This is day nine of our camping trip. Out here is Borrego Springs. This way here is Salton Sea and the Calamite Mine. We'll do that later, a little slot canyon. It's a great morning sunrise. And today we're looking at uh, Arroyo Salado Camp. I'll show you what the campground looks like. Some things to do here. So I mentioned uh, Calamite Dome, Calamite Mine, which is over the hill here. This guy here is a desert indigo. This is a Sorothamnus plant. Looks like a smoke tree. Look at this. Beautiful little indigo flowers coming in. Look at that. Isn't that great? Wow. Out here is Fonts Peak. It's about a four mile road. You need a high wheeled vehicle or all wheel drive to get out there. Then you hike up to the hill. So lots of plants up here I'll show you. Well I showed you the uh, Arizona Lupin and the Indigo. Well we have our creosote bush, our Lyria tridentata. These guys are starting to flower. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. We also have, this is a uh, Ambrosia dumosa or a burrow bush, also called a white brassage here. So lots of little shrubs, but this place looks like, looks like Mars. And all this is uh, mud, silt, and sand. And so it's a little rocky here on the road. So you do need a high clearance vehicle. And we drove our Ford Escape four-wheel drive. And it also gets a little sandy, so the farther down you get, the sandier it gets. Look at this beautiful sunrise, though. Holy smokes. A little sunflower here. Look at this guy. Coming up. Another one here. Out here we have a Akatillo. See that? Now he's starting to bloom. We'll take a look. This is a primitive campground. So there's no water, no electricity. Cell phone is really sporadic. So it's primitive. They do have toilets, I'll show you. First come, first serve. No reservations. Look at this guy. This is an Akatia, Fukuria Splendens. Look at that, beautiful. See, so starting to bloom here. One little flower opened up already. Right there. Look at that little guy. Wow. So he's uh, really spiny. See that? Super spiny. He's got leaves on him right there. See? Little leaves. So after it rains, he'll uh, shoot out his leaves and they'll fall off. If it rains again, he'll send up more leaves, they'll fall off. In the course of a year, he might get like six, seven, or eight different leaving cycles each year. Further down the trail, a few miles, you'll hit the trailhead to a couple palm oases which we're going to take a look at later on, probably tomorrow. Then you head further, you get to a place called Pumpkin Patch, which are cool little rocks that look like pumpkins. You drive to the bottom of the hill here where the trailhead is, and then it's a Makes like three miles, three mile hike to Pumpkin Patch. So it's real nice here. Look at this beautiful sunrise. So there's no trash out here, so pack it in, pack it out. Here's what a little campsite looks like. So you drive up, they've got fire rings at all the designated areas, like here. And yesterday the wind was blowing 50, 60, 70 miles an hour just over all these bluffs. So yesterday was not a very good day for camping. Here we have another site right here. And the road heads this way, clears around this rock. Our location's over here, I'll show you in a little bit. So fire in metal containers only. So use the fire rings provided. But if you park 
You can park anywhere you want, basically. But if you park outside of a designated campsite, make sure you bring your own fire ring or burn your wood inside your little portable barbecue unit. But they don't want you to have your ashes and your fire directly on the ground. Here's another campsite. We'll show you. So here, sand, right? Look how sandy it is. So, uh, right, you will um, get stuck if you don't have the kind of vehicle you need up here for the sand and the high clearance. Here's another site up here. But it's very nice. You just drive in through the sand, park up here, first come, first serve. And the places all have fire rings like this. They're a little higher than I prefer. I like them lower to the ground. All right. Another beautiful Ocotillo here. All right, another desert sand verbena. Wow, isn't that beautiful? We have restrooms up here. Okay. Make sure you bring your own toilet paper though. And there's no running water. So uh, bring a little hand sanitizer. Beautiful sunrise. So this uh, site here, it's more sheltered against the wind, but I tell you, when you have a 70 mile an hour winds coming over this hill, like last night, it doesn't really help. It was really windy last night. Another uh, fire ring, but these spaces are just fantastic. Check out this little guy here. This is called Desert Holly. Atroplex Hymenolytra. He's got these beautiful holly-like leaves here, right? He's not a true holly. He's got this perfect holly-like leaves. Look at that. Great for conserving water, reducing uh, evaporation, transpiration. This guy is so resilient, he can probably grow on Mars. In fact, you find him in the bottom of Amboy Crater out in Amboy on Route 66. This is one of my favorite little plants up here for survival. Wow, desert holly. Fantastic. Here's a view of the larger span of Arroyo Salado up here, campsites. Here's our site right here, nestled right in these rocks, but the wind just came howling down. Amazing, we have a silver choya here, Slindopuntia Econocarpa. We have another beautiful cactus over here, these guys. And, uh, lots of creosote bushes all over the place. How about that? Anyway, thanks for watching my video. Hope you like this place. It's really nice. You gotta make sure you pick the right weather condition. But we got this. Uh, Beautiful day coming up today for the Calamite Mines, the Palm Oasis, Pumpkin Patch, and over here is, of course, Vaughn's Peak. Well, there you go. Another day in Anza Thanks for watching. Please have a great day. Bye.